In this video, we're going to be building an application that is speech to text to AI agent. Now, this is literally going to be the future of software, in my opinion, where we're going to be able to say something like, what is the top news in the United States? It's going to call an AI agent parent. That parent AI agent is going to call another AI agent that searches the web, finds the top articles, returns that back up to the AI agent, and then the AI parent agent is going to summarize this and return it back to the user with ranks that say how how important those pieces of news are. This is super exciting stuff and I had so much fun building it because there's just not many applications that can do what we're about to build in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Roby, a software engineer with over a decade of experience and I've helped over 100,000 developers learn and grow within their craft. So with that, let's go ahead and build our application that's going to recognize voice and call AI agents. All right, so I already have an environment set up where we're gonna have a requirements.txt file which has speech recognition, Pi Audio, and Pydantic AI. And I already have a readme created, which kind of talks about how we can get started. So just install all the um, requirements.txt files. And here's a big thing for Mac OS users. You need to install port audio and you need to install FLAC, I think is how you pronounce it. This is what you needed for your Mac to be able to allow our speech recognition software to work. Now to start, I already kind of have the boilerplate code for our speech to text. So we're just importing speech recognition, time and asyncio. We're using AsyncQ here to get us started. And really what we're doing is it's listening for us and then it just prints it back to the terminal. So if we try it out right here and we just say Python 3 and we just say speech to text.py. Hello, this is working due to speech recognition. And there we can see it. It says, hello, this is working due to speech recognition. And that's grabbing our voice when we run the application and printing it to the terminal. Now we need to do a couple steps, right? The first thing we want to do is create an AI agent that can now consume that text and output something that we want it to do. What we're going to be having it do is scrape the web using DuckDuckGo and return whatever we ask it to return. I'm going to be talking about United States news because I know it's easy right now, but we're just going to be using speech. I'm going to be saying something and then our AI agent is going to consume that text. So what we can do real quick is just create a new folder called AI agents. And now inside AI agent, we need to create two files. We need models.py. And then we want something called service.py. Now inside our models.py, we want to add a few things. We want to add a class of queries, which takes in a base model from Pydantic, which is going to have two things inside this class. It's going to have query information, which is the query that is getting scraped. So if we're saying like search the news for the United States, it is going to search and scrape in one of those results is going to be the um, query information. The second one is going to be the rank. So like how important is whatever we just queried ranked among the other queries. And then we're going to have our AI agent report result have a list of those queries. So when we say like, what is the top news in the United States? It's going to scrape the web, find the five top news. Each one of those are going to be the queries. Then we're going to wrap them up in a list and send it back as an AI agent report result. So if we jump into our services, the first thing that we need to import is our Pydantic AI. And then we need to grab our models from our AI agent models. And then we want to grab from Pydantic AI, the DuckDuckGo search tool. Let's now create our query agent. We're going to be using GPT 4.0. And then we're going to have our dependency type be a string. That is the dependency that we're sending in. So you can send in like an object or class of different things for the query itself to understand. But here we're just going to pass in a single string, which is what we are saying. So we're going to say something, it's going to convert it to text. Then we're going to send it to the agent. And that's the dependency of the agent and depends on this string. It's going to return an AI agent report result. We're going to allow it to try three times. And what we want it to do is create a personalized AI agent report result based on the user's query that's provided. Now this query is the string that it's dependent on, but what we need to do next is to dynamically add it to the system prompt. So to add it to the system prompt, what we can do here is just have this at query agent, which is going to be the query agent that we created right here. We need to add it as this annotation slash decorator. And then we can say at query agent dot system prompt. We're going to have a function now under this, which is called add query agent system prompts, where we pass in this runtime context. Now this runtime context is a dependency injection to allow this agent to call this system prompt 
if it deems necessary. And it's going to deem it necessary because we're passing in something. So what we can do is at runtime, grab the query from the dependencies that we're passing in. And then we're just going to print analyzing query so we can follow it in the terminal. And then we can say return. Here is the query that is provided. So we're adding this to the system prompt, which is here is the query that is provided. And the query is going to be whatever we say. And then we're going to add that to the system prompt. All right. And now what we need to do is create another agent that can search the web. So this agent, I'm going to add this agent right under our query agent. And it's going to be called the search web agent. Now, this search web agent also takes an dependency, which is going to be our query. What we say it's going to result in just a string. So it's going to return just a bunch of blocks of code that it searches the Internet for. So we're going to be like, what is the top United States news? It's going to search DuckDuckGo. We're going to make sure it grabs articles and blogs. We're going to summarize it, send it back up for a query agent to be able to pull out of. Now, the system prompt here is really, really important. We need to be super, super explicit. So it searches not just the news outlets, but it dives even deeper and looks at the blogs and the articles and finds the top news and articles and then pulls it out if that's what we need it to do. So I already have this wrote out because no one wants to see me type this in. But it says, when searching for news, follow these exact steps. First, append news article site to the query along with these domains. And it has like the top domains for news. If the first search doesn't yield specific articles, try the next domain. Add when parameter to limit to only 24 hours. So it's going to be news within the last 24 hours. For example, if the user asks about tech news, set search for tech news article. And then it's going to say how to search there, how to search here, how to search here. Only return actual article content if each article includes the full article headline, direct quotes, or actual events being um, reported. If you receive homepage results, immediately try the next domain. And that's because some of these news outlets might like block them and only send links. So with that, what we need to do now is create the system prompt for our search web agent to dynamically add the query that we're searching for. So right under the query agent system prompt, I'm adding this search web agent system prompt, which is going to be add search web data, where we're passing in the run context for dependency injection, we're grabbing the query out of the dependencies, our enhanced query is now going to be the query article sites, and it's going to give us some of the um, sites that we're going to be searching, and then return the specific articles for the enhanced query. And now what we can do is add something called a tool. And the tool is for this query agent. So what the tool can do is if it deems necessary, the LLM, if the LLM or the agent deems necessary, it'll call the tool function, which will then extract internet data using the search web agent. So right here under our system prompt for our query agent, I am going to add this query tool. Now, this query agent tool is going to do the same thing with the run contacts, which is now going to be searching the web because we're going to return the result from our search web agent. We're going to pass in the data of the dependencies and then we're going to return the data. So when the search web agent gets called here, it's going to get this. It's then going to call the cert, the system prompt, which passes in the query. And then we're going to return that data to the LLM itself, which is our query agent. And then we just need a way to be able to call all of this data. And we can do this by creating a function called analyze profile, where we just call the query agent, we can say here's a query from the user and then return the result dot data. Now let's go back into our speech dot text. Right here in our async def process text, let's remove this pass. And instead add in a couple different pieces of data, where we're going to say if text result equals a weight, and here we just need to probably import our AI agent service. We're going to await the response from our analyzed profile, which is what's calling all the agents. And then I just have um, some print statements to make it look all nice and clean in the terminal. So we open up our terminal again and we rerun this. So you might run into an error. If you run into this error, that just is based on two things, actually. So we need to do a pip install for this. So let me grab this real quick. Pip install pydantic AI slim DuckDuckGo that allows us to be able to call DuckDuckGo. And then if you're in your services, you can scroll up to our DuckDuckGo search tool. And depending on what version of Python you're using, you might need to change this into typing extensions. So for example, if we rerun it right now, it'll fail based on my Python version. And we need to make sure that this is typing underscore extensions. And now if we run the application, what is the top news for the United States today? So as you said, what is the top news for the United States today? Analyzing query, searching the web, 
and now it's gonna return exactly what we need. Could take a while, it, takes a, it needs to search the web and everything. And there we have it, let's check this out. So top results, there's five top results, or four top results. The United States is set to lift the COVID border. Uh, I, I hate politics. But anyway, <laughs> it's the importance we are, we are ranking in these red dots, and that's based on it's inside here. So we're just ranking them and printing based on the, the query rank. Our rank is an 8 out of 10. And then this one is a 3 star or 7 out of 10. And then same here right here. We're talking about this and then right here. So we are literally using voice to transform our voice into text to call an AI agent to multi-AI agents, one that just takes in our voice and returns a query, the parent AI agent, and the other one that searches the web. And we're doing this all by voice. I mean, stuff's getting crazy, guys. And I'm gonna keep creating cool content like this. So I will see you in the next video. Where we keep diving into a bunch of different Python software.